Ladies and gentlemen, it's another game day vlog time. It's 5.29 in the morning, I was up at five. Uh, got dressed, got changed, everything that you need to do. Gonna head down to the gym right now and then gonna run to the Rovers gym after that. So it's grind time, baby. It's a good time to be alive. It's day before game day, Saturday. You guys have asked for a lot of these kind of game day vlogs where I can show a little bit of the previous day. You can see a little bit of my preparation, what I do, how I train, what I eat, nutrition, recovery, all that type of stuff, how I taper as well. So I'll give you guys a little bit of info on that. And baby, 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 it's finals time. It's a motherfucking playoff, so let's go. One of the biggest days on the calendar, the first week of September, where everything starts to get serious. It's a completely new season. We've got the Wodonga Bulldogs this weekend, who we did lose to a couple of weeks ago, but we did beat earlier in the season. So it's gonna be a very tight game. It's gonna be a very good game, and hopefully there'll be a very good turnout at the Wangaratta Showground. So fingers crossed that we can uh, get the job done, but uh, I know that I'm just gonna prepare the best way that I possibly can, and hopefully get that, get that W, baby. I work in finance, God bless, no, this not by chance Don't dab me, you're not my man, don't at me, you're not my man Mama said don't buy it if you can, I buy it twice I cop by the tools and I don't pump fake with the price Always on the grind, I put in work with all my might I know that he got me, got me, got me, not by sight yeah. That's for sure though Riding from the grip, no shame, take a photo Time to take a trip, we head north to the border Say you filling up, I'm my favorite type of hoarder I got kids to feed, I got enemies I got guys give, so they envy me Got some friends out of Memphis like I'm Aubrey Got some friends fall for orange like some autumn leaves yeah. What an elite morning. It was one degree when I woke up this morning, but now it is sun shining absolutely lovely. Uh, these are also oh, one of the new Prime Unwind hoodies that we've got, uh, which is really cool. So we're doing a pop-up store on the 24th of September, Sunday, which is gonna be incredible, in Richmond on Bridge Street. So make sure you guys are there for that. If you live in Melbourne or anywhere around Victoria, make sure that you make the effort. I would love to see so many of you guys there. Also be a meet and greet as well, so you guys can um, chat, meet, do whatever the bloody hell you want, take a flick. Does not matter to me, but I would love to see as many of you there as humanly possible. This morning, um, we've already done gym, we've gone for a run, we've pretty much ticked all the, ticked all the boxes, it's about 9 a.m. Haven't eaten anything yet, but now it is time to get some feed in. Before a game, I like to eat reasonably big, so I'll start off the day with high protein, some eggs, um, maybe a little bit of hash browns, bacon, and uh, bread. So I've said high protein, and then I've just named eggs, and then I've named a lot of carbon fat heavy uh, foods there. But that is how I'll be starting the day, and um, I guess I'll take you guys through it. Game day tomorrow. Let's go. On our way off to the game, um, Aubrey today play Wangaratta, so that's the qualifying final. So we're gonna go off to watch that at the Rovers ground, which is awesome. We're gonna get along, support both sides, and um, have people watch. Should be good. <laughs> Here we are, down at the freaking, down at the river. It's about 6 p.m. I think. 
and uh, late night dip. But we got the old man here. Who's got to come with? Rach, she's, Rach hates challenging her bloody mind, so she hates it. But the goat. No, Rach was The goat. The goats. We love this shit. Day. Here we are. Let's get it. Huge. Um, Aubrey got up, which is incredible. So it means next week, if we do win, we will verse um, the one grader magpies, which will be exciting. But we'll leave that um, all up to tomorrow. It's 7.40. I had, um, what did I have for lunch? Just had a couple of sangers, which is beautiful. Um, obviously, went to the, <laughs> the baptism place which was the um, the lovely freezing cold ovens river and I'm pretty tired now it's like 740 I'm I'm really tired I'm pretty keen to go to bed so yeah that's a almost wrap for the day I'll show you guys what I'm gonna eat for dinner we'll have a whole bloody crew there which will be lovely and um, yeah we'll wrap it there but that's pre-game day Ladies and gents, that is going to be a wrap. Had a great, great dinner. It was absolutely delicious. Smacked through some I feel it steak, which was a leak because I had Scotch fillet last night. So I thought I'd go for an I feel it tonight. Spaghetti, prawns, great source of protein as well. Focaccia. Elite, elite, elite. Feel amazing. It is now almost past nine o'clock, so I do have to get some sleep. Good night, everybody. Do I look like I just woke up? Probably. Good. Because I mother freaking did, baby. It's game day. What a beautiful day to be alive. Five. Can my freaking phone work? 5.15 in the morning. Oh. <laughs> mm. You know what time it is. Let's, let's check the weather. Let's check the weather. One degree. Oh, baby. It's one mother freaking degree outside this morning. You know what that means? Cold plunge. We're going straight into the Ovens River. The reason that I do this is because I like to start off my game day with something that I do not like to do. Something I used to do a lot last year. Something I stopped doing a lot this year. But it's something that I've really gotten back into in the last four weeks since I've been doing the 30 day challenge. Guys, if you do want to join any of the challenges or programs that I do offer, then make sure that you go down and click the link in the description of this video because they'll all be down there. Train with me during the preseason, train with me during the off season. You will get some massive, massive benefits out of it. I promise you that. It is the greatest thing ever to challenge your mind and your body in the morning of a game day, do some cold plunge, it'll set you up for the day, it'll clear the mind, it'll clear your legs, it'll clear it'll clear the rib cage, it'll clear the lungs, that's for sure. Rib cage, I think that's a bit wrong. I think I meant the lungs, but anyway, um, it will clear all of that and you'll feel absolutely amazing. So, 5.16, on our way down to the Ovens River. Since I've been completing this 30 day challenge, um, it's been good. Since I've got back from, from injury, um, I've pretty much been doing 5 a.m. wake ups, 160 grams of protein every single day. I've been doing two workouts a day, every single day. I've been doing uh, no alcohol, no, no going out, none of that sort of stuff, um, which has also been fantastic. Then I've also been doing one more discipline, 
sleeping eight hours every night as well. So five disciplines I've lived by and I've felt absolutely amazing doing those five. And since that, I think I've averaged 21, two goals a game, four, five marks and four tackles. So like not the most amazing averages ever, like not crazy good averages, but, um, but like decent, decent averages and we'll take that. Um, and it was good that we, we got back on the winners list last week. We've had a lot of ins, a lot of outs in the last couple of weeks. So we're good to get everyone back, hopefully this week and next week, and we can get back to freaking getting wins. Elimination final today, doesn't change. Nothing changes. We still go out, we still do what we do in the morning. We still go out, we get ourselves that cold plunge. We do all we gotta do, it's grind season. Whew. Here we are, ladies and gentlemen. Back down at the cold ovens river, baby. The cold ovens river. The cold ovens river, baby. Now it is. It's a timer on. Comes on. It is? Oh, you're just gonna put the hole, okay. Yep. You're already seven seconds in. You're not in yet. Hey, please, Michael. <laughs> Anyone that ever calls me fucking soft. You come with me, you come with Brody, you come with my dad, down to the fucking Ovens River at 5 a.m. in the morning in one fucking degree fucking weather. Anyone that ever calls me fucking soft, I'll see you down here at the Ovens River at fucking 5 a.m. in the morning. Anyone! Body fat. Anyone. I'll see you down here. So I'm David OJ. I reckon. Jackie G. Feel the leather? You look hot. You look fast. You look fast. Is it a real band plug, mate? Real band? Real brand. Very cold. So, what's it, um, what's it about? Can't say, mate. Okay. <laughs> Scrambled eggs. Sourdough. Green. Oh, that looks nice. I got avo and bacon. Game day, baby. Let's go. The more shopping, the worse. I always get these All right, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another game day vlog. And this time it is an elimination final. So it is a very, very important game. It's win or go home. So uh, I was definitely up and about before the game uh, because, well, it was, it was, you know, it could be the last game that I played for the Wangrata Rovers. So I was going to do everything in my power to make sure that that was not going to be uh, what actually happens. So uh, I was definitely up and about before the game. All the boys getting around each other. Spirits were incredibly high. I think that we were... Um, th there was just a really good feeling around the group. We didn't have a few players because of outs, but overall it was a pretty strong side that we had put together. So I think that everyone was um, reasonably confident with, with the players on paper that we did have going into the game. And um, we did lose to the Bulldogs by, I think... Three goals uh, last time out, about three weeks ago. How good are these shots, by the way, from uh, my guy, Cartwright Media? He is elite. There are some incredible shots here in the room. So shout out to him. And then also shout out to Dylan Wilson for his 100th game for the Wangaratta Rovers. So we did go out with, uh, I guess, the banner, which was pretty cool. And again, everyone was pretty high spirits. We had a really good turnout to the game. Uh, I was feeling, you know, pretty amazing. I think that I ate a lot of food in the three days leading up, so I was feeling a little bit heavy, to be honest, but um, I have definitely changed kind of the makeup of my body in the last three to four weeks since I've come back from Europe, so I was feeling uh, a lot better, 
The Wodonga Bulldogs went through uh, in the first quarter and did kick the first goal. I started on the half-forward flank, but was moving through the midfield for a lot of the day, so it was good to get around the ball a little bit more, but I did start off as a half-forward. We get the ball in here, and I did have a pretty open opportunity, but probably was too far away. Ends up being in Toby Murray's hands, who does kick our first goal of the day, and that puts us even, Stephen. Got my hands on the ball early, thanks to a Sam Murray handball just over the top. And then just waited, waited, waited for uh, my bloke to, to come closer to me before I gave it off to Shagger Will Nolan here, which was good. It was good to get my hands on the ball early and just feel a little bit of composure. But uh, it was pretty, pretty hot in the kitchen. Um, got a good tackle here. And then Philo got a push in the back, I believe, here. So we did actually end up going forward. Alma Fada has a shot on goal and unfortunately just sprays it across the face. So... Couldn't quite get the job done, but we did have a reasonably good start. We didn't feel like we were on the back foot or anything. Wodonga did kick the first goal, but we were pretty much keeping with them for the first um, 10, 15 minutes, and they were keeping with us. That was a dangerous kick. I'm surprised that that didn't go um, for a turnover. Anyway, we had a lot of good pressure on the ball. Uh, I'm back near the ball now, but then um, there was a few opportunities like here. The ball just spits out to me, and I try and get it on the boot and get it forward. Unfortunately, it goes out of bounds on the full, which wasn't good. So I did try to push back because I knew the ball was going to go long. But that was probably one of the issues that we had all day. We just continued to push back, push back, push back. Instead of coming up to defend, which was uh, probably one of our big undoings early in this game. Got a kick here in the back flank and straight over the top. And then wanted it back from Shuddy and was working hard to get the hands back. But we don't really play that kind of game. We only give it to probably Sam Murray when, when we give the handballs. Maybe sometimes Brody Philo, unfortunately, we end up turning it over. So it was an interesting kind of start. Um, and it's been an interesting play style as well because um, it's just been hard to kind of get your hands on the footy a lot of the time. Anyway, we have a few opportunities here and there. I spent a lot of the time off in this game as well. Give a handball out here to Toby Murray, who goes inside with a really, really good inside kick. But um, sometimes we kind of go... And we stringed together two or three in this first quarter. We just couldn't really get that last little bit of, um, of poise and composure and efficient disposal. So had an opportunity here, kick it inside, we drop a mark. And then we have another opportunity after we do get it back to go and give a handball. But then we get caught running the ball. So it was, it was a difficult... Um, I think it was super high pressure from Wodonga and we didn't really have that high pressure. Get the ball here on the ground and... Uh, we're just playing kind of defense at the moment. Wodonga do kick away a little bit. They kick the first um, or three goals to our one early on. And um, I do get a chance here from Fuddy. I go for a lead up, don't get used, and then try to go again. And the kick was just to the wrong side. So I couldn't quite get both hands up. And it was just a, uh, it ended up being a nothing kind of, a nothing play, which was really unfortunate. And um, yeah, Wodonga did go forward and, and, and end up kicking a goal there to finish off the, the first quarter. So it was 24 to 8. I get a, um, moving on to the second quarter now, I do get an elbow or a shoulder to the head here. So I wasn't very happy and I gave him one afterwards because, I don't know, it's pretty difficult sometimes. It does feel like you're being headhunted out there when you do have your head over the ball. Someone just cracks in and just tries to whack you over the head. And it's like, well, it's difficult because obviously it comes with what I do. But at the same time, it's, it's really frustrating because you've got to put your head over the ball and every time you do, you just get absolutely whacked. And it's not even country footy's tough or, um, you know, it's, it's not that it's tougher. It's literally that people just want to try and whack you, um, you know, for, for the job that you do, which is quite difficult sometimes. It's, um, you know, it just comes with the nature a little bit. But started to get my hands on the ball here um, a little bit in the, uh, in the second quarter, which was good. Started to get around it a little bit. But still, nothing was really happening here. Like, we weren't really getting on the end of March. We weren't um, being efficient, getting it through. We, we couldn't figure out a way to, to end up kicking goals. Someone is calling me, and they've called me like four times, and it's really frustrating. Get a ball here. Inside 50. Could not quite grab it. Just got on the wrong side. Tried to get on the right side, and the ball kind of sailed around me and anyway I just couldn't manage to um to help out with that kind of that that final um that f that final mark or that final kick again get a really good opportunity here late in the second the ball comes out from Juzzy Lewis did really well here to get the ball out and then I go for a snap over the shoulder from about 30 meters out get cleaned up afterwards again just cleaned up 
and the ball literally bounces right on the goal line and then bounces out. So couldn't believe my luck here. I tried to go for a snap around the corner. I saw that someone was really close. Thought I could have got a one across the chops, but uh, didn't end up happening. We go forward, try to kick a goal. We unfortunately end up missing. Half time happens. We're down by a couple of goals. We, we're definitely still in it though. We go in really, really positive and um, I come out making sure that I'm positive as well. Probably not my best moment. The ball comes here and I just try to soccer it out of midair. Kick it, but uh, ends up hip- hitting my opponent. So probably wasn't the greatest thing. Then here in the third quarter, I spent 10 or 12 minutes off the ground. I was very, very frustrated. Um, they only kick a goal, but then, yeah, they end up... Um, they end up getting a little bit of a gap here, and this is just our midfield stuff. Like we just get pushed under the ball, and you know, and then we don't even spread. Like look at them; they've two of them have spread, and there's one. I'm the only one that's spread from the Rovers midfield. No one else spreads. Uh, and I'm not saying that's like there's a lot I did during this game that was that was bad. I'm not saying that at all. That I was perfect at all. There was a lot of things I did that was poor. But that's a good example of like we weren't really spreading that much. Um, which was which was difficult. We were we were beaten on the inside, then we were beaten on the outside with spread. So that was really unfortunate. Toby Murray does well here, he gets it forward, and um, we do end up kicking a goal. And it's still Wilson again, who hundredth game kicks a goal, and no one really gets around it. This this is how you've got to be on your man, like that close, especially with Baker. And then he spreads again, and I probably was a little bit just lapsed for a second, but. That was an example of how quickly they spread to get the ball. Again, like, want these handball back, and I'm free, and, but, yeah, anyway, we just, we struggle to use it, and they, you know, they just keep getting, getting it through. Try to get around this guy. Thought I probably got dragged to the ground, but play on. Country footy is an interesting one. They don't pay as many free kicks as what you would normally see. Um, but, yeah, it's, it got my hands on the ball a lot, but, there just wasn't really anything happening. Like, there was nothing happening for me. There was nothing happening for the team. We go on at three-quarter time, 79 to 24. And we are getting absolutely smashed. And it's our it's elimination final. It's the last game that we have of the year. Wanted the handball back here. I was just standing there for ages. And by the time I get it, I'm under pressure. So I can't make a decision, you know. Like, it's just got to be the, you know, we quickly... If you quickly give a handball to someone behind the stoppage, you know... Then they have time to assess their options and figure out what they're doing. Got Bakes holding the ball here. He's a superstar. I think he ended up with 41 disposals. And we tried to tag him. So that probably didn't end up working, unfortunately. Philo played amazingly as well. Ended up with 39. I thought that he, he, he was fantastic. Um, worked really hard. And we linked up a few times through the middle here. Gave a little handball here. And, and he hit a fantastic left foot kick. It was really, really good. So, mate, he's a superstar. He's a, he's a genuine gun footballer um, and just showed his class in the finals with his 39 um, but yeah we, we couldn't really get much going here again like I'm here I'm open I'm open and then again open and yeah unfortunately just didn't, didn't end up getting used so that's okay you um you, again but yeah I don't know, it's so late in the game now but like there was a, the, you, you can't cry about being open because like that happens to everyone in every game of footy. But yeah, that was unfortunate. Um, anyway, picked this guy up after he was uh, yeah, I don't know, just trying to be nice, I guess. But um, didn't really make much difference. Brody Paul, how about this spin move? Goes bang, tries to hit the goal, but unfortunately did miss. But he, um, mate, he he played really well. He showed that he's a dog. And uh, in the end, you can see I'm absolutely distraught. Absolutely distraught. We have been beaten by 40 points. By a team probably on paper, probably not as good. And that was just unfortunate because, you know, our, I thought that our side was was good enough and we, we probably thought that we were good enough um, to go pretty far in this final series. And, and unfortunately, we, we bowed out um, in the at the first hurdle. So that was unfortunate. I... I try to get around the, the young lads as much as I possibly could after the game because I thought that that was necessary but I also felt like it's um, I, I was probably in a little bit of a sour mood it's always difficult when you've got kids coming up to you after the game saying can we, can we have your boots and stuff and I'm just like oh, come on lads I've just lost but they don't care about that they, they don't they're just there to, 
to see you and, and take a photo. So they're always um, they're always happy. So I got to try and showcase that that I'm happy too. But it was a really really difficult little little part because um, I was obviously distraught that he couldn't get it done. Um, obviously, it's been a great year with the Rovers. Um, I don't know. I, I'm not a 40 point different player, so I can't really make that. Around the difference in the game, but yeah, that's the end of the vlog, I guess. Thanks for watching these, I appreciate it.